You guys have been absolutely amazing. All kinds of new baby stuff has come in. And it's just awesome that you guys support me like you guys do. I appreciate you. There's some more over here. And then there's a big giant pack and play crib right here as well. It's really nice. It's got multiple layers to it. Somebody bought that. You guys are great. And there's some stuff that hasn't even made it here yet that people ordered. And uh, then this morning there was uh, another person that ordered two more things for us. Just because you guys wanted to be a part of our life with the new baby coming. And uh, this is that's awesome. I appreciate you guys so much. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. So the plan is to, I'm going into work for just a little bit to finish up some paperwork and I've got one customer's car that i got to finish putting ignition coils on, which is not a big job. I'm finishing that up and I'm headed straight out to, well I'm going to pick up my girls and I'm headed straight out to see my father. Dad is at home under hospice care. They don't know how long he's got. They don't know if it's gonna be a week or a couple months or a year. Um, it's normally in a situation like this, you know, it's you, you might get a couple months max out of somebody um, if you're lucky. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. We have to assess it day by day. They have to assess how well he's feeling, how much pain and stuff he's in, and stuff like that. He's still able to eat and function when it comes to, like, talking and moving his arms and everything else. And, like, you know, um, normal. Just can't get up and walk on his own. Can't go to the bathroom and stuff on his own. He's lost a lot of that function. And he's got to be hooked up to a catheter all the time. And unfortunately, it's this is what we're dealing with right now. It's not, it's not, and it's not unfortunate to us. It's unfortunate to him that he's got to fight through while dealing with all this, knowing that his time is no. I mean, his time is almost ended, and he has to still stay alive long enough to let his body shut down enough for him to just pass away that's the hard part that's what's really hard to deal with it's the fact that somebody has to live every day going through that so I uh, I'm gonna try to just be there for him as much as I possibly can y'all take care be blessed good morning I hope you slept well be safe this weekend uh, it's cold out and just uh, keep yourself safe your family safe take care be blessed oh and about that fight last night between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson if that wasn't the biggest BS I've ever seen in my life you can tell after the second round Mike Tyson just stopped fighting he whooped his butt the first two rounds ish he could have easily knocked him out several times and then just after the second round, shut down and just let Jake Paul hit him as he like shadow boxed around in circles and barely touched the guy. Talk about making it so clear that you're doing it for the money. And then he stumbled around on that leg that he has the knee wrap on. I get the guy's 50, what, 58 or 57 years old or something. It's just, just, I get it. And Jake's half his age. But still... I mean, if we're going to do something, give it all. That was sorry. I, I wasted my time waiting up for that fight.